Hey, Michael with X-Force PC. I want to talk about fixing a computer that boot loops. <clears throat> you might say, what do you mean boot loops? Uh, essentially, that means the computer turns on, turns on for um, a short period of time, a few seconds, and then turns back off again, and then just repeats this process over and over again. Turns on for a few seconds and turns back off. And um, typically, you don't see in fact, you would not see anything on the screen. The screen would never actually show any text or anything. So to fix that is typically pretty simple. Um, so the first thing, the most likely thing that it is, is your RAM needs to be reseated. In this particular PC, you'll see the RAM is, is these two red sticks that you see there. And so this is the same exact motherboard here, right? And so the way you would take the RAM out, sometimes motherboards have clips on both sides, and sometimes they just have a clip on one side like this one. And so what happens is sometimes maybe a little bit of dust gets in there, a little bit of just the tiniest bit of, uh, you know, dust or something, and it's not making good contact. And you can simply reseat the RAM. When you talk about reseating RAM, basically you're taking it out and you're putting it back in. So on this particular one, I just push the clips up at the top, and they're kind of hard to press. Push them both up at the top, so now they're flipped out. And then pull the stick out like that. And then pull the other one out from the top, since there's only a clip in the top. And then to put it back in, you just carefully line it up. Note that this there's a little uh, groove here in the middle. Whoops, I dropped my ram. The little groove has to line up with the little groove in the memory here. So you can't turn it the wrong way and try to shove it in. Make sure that little groove or notch matches up. And just slide it in gently. Take your time. But make sure it's in there good. And then you have to apply a fair amount of pressure. In fact, did I do that one right? Yeah, I did do it right. Um, yeah, fair amount of pressure till it clicks in nicely on both sides. I'm going to do the same thing here. Get it all lined up nicely slide it most of the way in and then when it clips this little when it when it uh, snaps in this little clip here should be back down flush again see how this clip right here is sticking up let me see if you can see that see the clip sticking up there when i get this properly seated in there now the clip is not sticking up anymore okay so you do have to make sure you get it in, pushed in there good. It is a kind of a firm press to get it back in there. But as long as you got it lined up, everything should be okay. And so, you know, if I was doing that on this one, it's a little more difficult because the thing's standing up, but I just push the clip here on the one side, take the memory out, put the memory back in, and uh, there we go, get it lined up. Make sure all the wires are out of the way and kind of push it back in. All right. The other thing that uh, will sometimes or oftentimes work will be reseating your cards. You may need to reseat, re just like we did the memory, the video card or maybe the network card. And, you know, so what I do here is I probably just unplug this power connector to the graphics card, making sure I make note of where it is. Now I'm going to take these two screws out. Whoops drop one and then there's a little release back here hopefully you can see that but there's a little release at the back of the um, graphics card slot I have to kind of push on that release and then wiggle the card and then it comes out and then you simply uh, put it back in now if you want if you don't want to pull it all the way out just kind of put you know just kind of wiggle it a little bit and that could that could uh, create a better contact just simply wiggling it back and forth, but probably the best thing to do is to take it all the way out like I did, put it all the way back in like I did, and uh, then you've reseated your graphics card. You can do the same thing with your Wi-Fi card. It's probably not that, you know, preventing the system from booting, but it would, I guess it wouldn't hurt to do it while you're in there. Just again, take your time, be careful, pay attention to how it is before you take it out, and if you're not sure, take your smartphone out take a, a bazillion pictures of the inside and so you know what it looked like before you messed with it 
and then that way you can compare that to after you've messed with it. Now when you get the graphics card back in, the little uh, locking mechanism, sh is, it kind of works like the ones that are on the memory uh, slides. It should be flipped back up again. So hopefully that will fix your boot looping if you're having that particular issue. Again, the most likely scenario would be reseeding the RAM to fix that issue.